Lone Kane here, and this is episode 12 of Zulima. I've already grabbed all of the, whatchamacallit, cereals. And I'm actually, if you notice on the left, I'm overweight because of it. Now, I want to use the cereal plants. Come on. Oh, I can make other stuff? Increase speed attribute by one point. Need 10 minute units to make a solve. That sounds pretty cool. But right now, I want to worry about the cereal plant. Which makes a full day's reserves out of 40. So let's do it. Do I just double click? No. Do I click apply? You already have enough supplies for one day. You can only prepare food from cereals to fill your... Oh, I can only fill up day one cereals. That's lame. But this... This I can do. Who gets it? Who needs speed? That guy doesn't really need speed. She could use more speed. Yeah, we'll use speed on her. Alright, her speed point went up. Awesome. Are we still overweight? Yes. What's this do? Cold resistance? This guy needs all the help he can get. Let's get some cold resistance in ya. What else we got? Nothing? Alright. Now I hear tell that in the shop there's a button to identify items. So maybe it's one of these things. Which I didn't even know existed until just now. So let's click on this. Okay. Identify. How much does it cost? 781 down to 675. Iron Axe of Stunning. Alright, first we're going to get out of here. Second, we're going to take a look at Gwalin. Maybe I don't want this axe. Let's see, it has 19 damage instead of 9. That's incredible. An extra wound. But it has negative 15 in the to hit. A higher chance to stun cannot be equipped. I need more strength for it. And more levels of X. Okay. Well, that solves that problem. Welcome to my store. Next time he levels up, might do more X, more strength. He definitely could use more strength. I thought I bought this bow. Whatever. All right, Brass Axe, you need to go away. That helps. Do we have any items that aren't being used? Yeah, I hate to get rid of it, but... It's in the way. Maybe I have something else to sell. No, not really. I have a bunch of this crap. If only I had some sort of stash, that'd be awesome. But I don't think I do. So I guess that's it for this area. I guess I'll just let my food run down and use cereals from now on. Actually, I'm going to go over to the mushrooms. That's right. That's what I was going to do. So we're going to fast... We're gonna, we're gonna speed walk to uh, to the mushrooms. In fact, we'll speed walk till we have a battle, and hopefully, I can defeat him now, and maybe get some levels. And if I can get some levels, maybe, oh, just maybe, I can defeat the troll. If not, then I think we're done with this game. It's a little too hard. Anyway, be back. back. Now I left saying this game was hard, but that's a little bit of a misnomer. I didn't mean that the game itself is difficult. What it does to me is difficult. It says, hey, guess what? You need to defeat this thing that it's impossible for you to defeat. And you've only got a couple of other things you can kill. So I can hunt here, and I can hunt in that gaming area, in the other area, in the other area past where the soldier was. Then I don't think I have anybody else I can fight. Like, that's it. What do I do after that? All right, Nantharos, I don't know what you're going to do. Whose turn is it? Oh, Squallens. He leveled up. He can do some wounds now. The wounds are going to help a lot, I think. I, I'm still not 100% sure on what exactly they do, but I think they're going to help a lot. You're going to go there, Velishkon. And Nantharos, you're going to attack this guy. Oh, you bastard. Probably should have called in the nonlet thing. I think she can do poison cure, maybe? Maybe not. I feel like I'm destroying this guy compared to what I normally do. Should I add more wounds? Or more damage? Damage increased by 12 points. I think I'll go with the damage. 95% chance, too. Yeah. That's gonna help a lot. Ooh, that helps, too. Setting the guy on fire. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Let's shoot a stone arrow. Boom. Man, 
Wait, oh, Guscala is gonna die. That's not cool. Does she get he? Oh, that's scary. That's scary. Let's try and get a wound on him. Slow him down? No? Damn. Oh well, hopefully he doesn't kill Gasquala. We're gonna cut summon my Nanlit. She's gonna help heal. Please. Oh. Goodbye, Gasquala. Nice knowing you. I don't think my light heal is enough. Nope. One point. One point shy of saving her life. I don't know if I'm going to win this now. What I do know, I'm going to drop a stone arrow on this guy, and it might kill him. It did not. But it came close. I only got eight health left. He's going to die soon. He's dead. But I don't think I'm strong enough to finish this guy off. He's got 36 health. I'm going to die after I attack. I don't think there's any items I can really use. I have to go with a powerful strike. 23 damage? We might be able to take him out if I get the max. Or crit. That'd be lovely. Oh, thank god he moved over. So she's gonna die too. And then he gets to attack. I can't... I can't win that. I don't think I can win this. I'm so close. How much damage does this do? Does it tell me? Well, we'll find out now. 10 damage. Now he's, he's gonna get hit. He's going to get kicked. Oh, he didn't get kicked. Maybe I have... Maybe I have a potion that'll help me out. This will give me 20 HP, and then I'll lose it all from the poison, and then I'll get kicked, and then I'll die the next turn. That's not very good. How many turns? Every combat turn. Whoop. Kill him! No! You motherfucker! How do you lose 80% hits all the time, you bastard? Fuck you, Galen. And I didn't quick save before that fight, so I'll be back. I'm back. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this enga engagement again. <clears throat> and I really don't know how to take this guy out. But I need to take him out quick before he starts poisoning me and everything else. Now this is 3 to 4 damage. I'm gonna go ahead and use these shriekens like I did last time because it does a little bit more damage. And now everybody's hit. And poisoned. And that poison hurts really bad. We're going to go ahead and pull Volvid out. And then I'm going to do Nonlit after that. Because otherwise, this is just not going to work. And while we're doing impressive damage against him, and I almost won last time, but Gualin has to fucking shove an axe up his ass because he's retarded. He's r literally the worst character. He's worse than Nantharos. His own, The only benefit he has is the ability to allow us to run away from combat with his camouflage skill. Everything else, he is absolutely worthless. I don't... There's nothing else to be said about him. He's just worthless. Good block, Dingon. You needed that. Hopefully you can stay alive a little bit longer this time. So are these, like, deterioration symbols? Okay, time remaining 39 seconds. I really wish they didn't use seconds in a game that uses turns, but whatever. So we get another 25 off on him. I gotta heal myself on this one. Man, he's gonna get healed again from Namora. I don't even really want him to get healed. 92% chance. Why couldn't you have that before? I guess it wouldn't matter, because he'd probably frickin' missed anyway. Because that's what he does. Misses easy hits. Gigantic mushroom. What do you have? An axe. And you missed it. The like, mushroom's bigger than you. Oh, that's not good. Everybody got the poison. All right, all right. Let's finish him off. So what do you do, Dingon? You're just going to die, so I guess stun. And there goes all my combat support. 
Uh, no, Gwalin's going to take care of that. I am going to do as much damage as I can to this guy. That is amazing. 23 damage. Now, if you can't finish this guy off, I'm going to be really pissed off at you. Alright. Gosquala, you're dying next turn, apparently. Let's, uh, make use of your time. Ooh, Nantara. Ooh, we won! We won. And Gwalin isn't the one that's dying all the time now. I guess he's okay if it's all AoE attacks. Then my... Of course my summoner's gonna go down. That's it for the Sporia Forest. Gain an extra 186 experience. Well done! Through your tracking skills, you have determined that was the last group of marauding enemies in the area. You have some comfort knowing that the party is now safer. Nobody leveled up. Nobody leveled up. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go fight that troll again. That troll is probably going to completely stomp me. And if that's the case, I'm done with this series. And I'm going to set up my other recording station. <laughs> so there might be a few days gap before I have more videos up. Be careful, Gwalin, as the darkness is approaching you. Oh. Great. You know what that means. We get to fight another one of those wolf things. Which might be a blessing in disguise if it gives us a level up. I'll totally take that. What do we got? No enemies around? What if I go into an enemy type area? Do enemies suddenly come around? A spawn zone, if you will? Oh my lord, you idiot! It's a sign. Go around it. No, it looks like that didn't matter. Huh. But yes, we're gonna go to the troll. We're gonna fight him. We're gonna die. And then I'm gonna never play this game again. Unless, of course, people ask me to play it, then I'll probably do it. But I'll be doing it with a new party. Because, I don't know if this party composition just sucks. Maybe I'm just terrible, and I don't realize it. But, I think I just made bad decisions on how to... How to create the party. On the other hand, my god, what are you stuck on? Is there even anything there? Pop a torch, I just want to see... No, there's nothing there, you're stuck on it. Idiot. <laughs> Tripping over your own two feet. Yes, I'm, the good news is, I do have a, a couple other games in mind to play. The first one is called Bleed. If you don't know about it, it's on Steam, and... Embarrassing. Oh my lord, come on. It's on Steam, and it is... A, I guess, I don't know what to call it. You're a girl that runs around shooting repeatedly with various weapons at things. So I guess a side-scrolling shooter, maybe? Kinda bullet hellish? Eh. I played it for a little bit, I had some fun. So I figured, eh, I'll do this for a Let's Play sometime. And with that... Ugh, with that line of thought and process, I actually did that with another game called They Bleed Pixels. More of a puzzle game, but I think it might be fun to play. So this is very difficult. I'd say it's very difficult, considering one of those guys alone is enough to almost kill me. So, I can't go that way. I've already cleared all the random enemies out of all of the other areas except for the king's hunting ground, or the prince's hunting ground. So we're going to go ahead and save. I don't know what else to do, so I'm going to charge in. And he's fast. He's a fast troll. Because that makes sense. He's very, very fast. And he has 250 health. He almost does as much damage as that other, the plant does. Just not an overtime variant. I don't think I have a chance to win this. I already feel like I've lost. I've lost. How did she do that much bleed against herself? She can't do that much bleed against anybody. Well, I guess against herself. She had a red eye for a second. Do I do wounds? 
I guess I could do wounds, because the extra damage. I need to be able to slow him down, I guess. Great! That's exactly what I needed. Come on, get some wounds on there. 46% you actually hit. No wounds, though. Yeah. There, I have no chance. It's not possible to win this. Unless he has a huge elemental weakness or something. That didn't do it. I guess we'll call on Volvet. Volvet's gonna... Velikan. Velikan's gonna die. Right now, actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm done with this. This game is ridiculous, or... I made a very bad party composition. But I made a standard D&D &D party, I guess. I have my wizard-type character, Gasquala. I have my useless paladin of... Maybe not 5th edition, but still useless paladin of Gawlin. He's the leader dude. He doesn't really do much except die. I got a summoner. You'd think a summoner would be really good. Maybe if I'd buffed up Baton or something? I don't know. I really don't know what else I could have done. I'm starting to think I shouldn't have grabbed Dingon, and I should have created an additional character. Of course, I didn't know I could make additional characters when I created this party. I found that out later, when I realized, hey! Look at this. I can make six people. Huh. I hear it. What do I have? Five people on this? And that's it. All right. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for taking an interest in my channel and this game. I mean, this game is fun, but whoever developed it made it so it sucks if you don't do it exactly right, I guess. Maybe it would be better some other way. Some other party. But I'm not playing it anymore. I am done. I'm not really frustrated with it, I just don't know what else to do. Other than start over, and that sounds... annoying. Not to mention... Not to mention that this game is so laggy. That's kind of frustrating, and it's... I don't really like putting it up on YouTube, because it looks like I'm running it on a shit computer, which I'm not. I have a Lenovo Y510P. It's a laptop, granted, that I'm doing all this on, but... has It's a beast of a laptop. Maybe a, maybe a year or two old now, but it's a beast. There's no excuse for this. I also played it on a desktop computer, which with considerably better abilities. <laughs> and it still lagged like this. It's It was just awful. So, until next time, everyone. Enjoy! <laughs>